Hi, second grade math families. It's Ms. Moss. I'm back. And here we go for another math lesson. Uh, real quick, want to remind you, don't forget your growth mindset. Make sure you bring it with you every time we gather and every time we meet. You can do hard things. You are a pioneer, which means you are part of Envy Pride, and I believe you can do hard things. Don't forget, quick reminder, the power of yet. We talked about it earlier in the week, and I want it fresh on your brains. If you have a feeling today of, I can't do this, just remember, tag on that word yet, and you got her. All right, it is learning target time. Here it is. I am learning to skip count so that I can solve story problems. And we've spent a lot of time at our at-home learning reminding ourselves of what we do when we come to story problems. So today, you're going to use the strategy of skip counting to solve some stories about the ants. We measured ants, and now today, we're gonna to take those ants that have been in our story problems, and we're going to use the strategy of skip counting. Before I look at our activity sheet, which looks like this, I'll zoom in a little bit closer. It's the one that says more ant stories, and dun da 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 this is a turn into dojo one, so make sure that you're really watching this math lesson, okay? All right, so, target, here it was, oh, upside down, I'm having all kinds of fun today. I am learning to skip count. Well, before we look a little bit closer on those problems, I want to remind you of some important vocabulary words, because math has a lot of important vocabulary that we kind of have to understand in order to know what we're doing. The first one is count. What does it mean when we count? Counting is a way that we keep track of a quantity of numbers. It's like naming the units that are in a group. We can do it one by one, but we can also count by twos. We've been counting by fives in second grade. We even can count by tens. And in fact, you can count by groups of numbers. And when we do that, we call it skip counting. You're skipping some of the numbers, so you're not counting them one by one by one by one. You're counting them in a group, and it actually helps you to get the answer a little bit quicker, and we call that efficient in second grade. All right, now I'm going to be, when I look at our stories, arranging my math picture in what we also call an array. An array is a visual way for us to be able to skip count a little bit easier. And you've seen some arrays before. You can see this is a dot array. This one's with squares. And I just wanted to remind you when we're talking about an array, an array always has both rows and columns. And you can see by my helper cards today that the rows, I always tell my second graders, the rows go this way, like the horizon, right? And columns go up and down. So we go rows, columns, rows, columns. All right. Those vocabulary words, I want you to take them with you when we look at the next part of the problem. Because remember, you're going to be using those arrays to work on skip counting to solve some problems. So let's see what the ants are up to today and figure out how we can use arrays to help us skip count and solve a story problem. All right, here we go. The learning target's right there. I'm learning to skip count so I can solve story problems. And you'll see at more ant stories at the top, it'll tell you that the ants are gonna have a parade and they want the ants to line up in different rows. And each row has a certain number of ants in it and they call them lines. And then after they tell you how many rows they want or how many lines, they're also gonna tell you how many ants are in every line. The second part of the problem asks you to figure out how many more ants would need to, to add to be added to the group in order uh, for the queen to have as many ants in the, call, in the parade that she would want. To give you some examples of the hard work, and you're gonna do it for two problems today, we're going to do one that's a little bit different than the two that you're gonna try on your own, but I promise if you pay really close attention to this work, then it'll go um, easier for you. All right, we're gonna use those ideas about how to do an array to help us, and let's practice with this one. Here's what it says. There are three lines of ants. And remember, if I'm drawing my math picture and I'm gonna organize it by rows and columns, that will help me 
to skip count a lot easier. So I have three lines of ants. So here's my first line. Here's my second line. And here's my third line, okay? And remember, I'm not drawing a detailed picture. I'm just drawing a circle to represent an ant because it's a math picture. And then it says there are six ants in every line. So here's my first line. I already have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I have six. And I have the same number in each line. So I have six in the first line. I have six in the second line. And I have six in the third line. So, hmm, I'm thinking, let me switch my pen. I'm going to use green this time so it shows up a little better. If I have six in this row and I add six more, I'm thinking six plus the next line would be another six, which would give me 12. And then I have one more six, so I could add on to the 12, six, 12, I would have 18 ants in all. So if it says how many ants, hmm, forgot the question mark there, I'm thinking it would be 18. Now that would be counting the rows in my array. I'm skip counting by sixes. I could also do this skip counting by a different number if counting by sixes was a little bit tricky for me. Now, if I look at the columns, I could also think, hmm, the first column in this very organized parade of ants would have three, and then the next row would have three more, so it would be six. Add on three more, it would be nine. Add on three more, it would be 12. Add on three more, I would get 15. If I added on that last column, I would get, oh my goodness, the same answer that I got when I counted the rows. This time, my equation, I was skip counting by threes, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six threes, but it also gives me 18 in all. So how many ants? 18 ants lined up. All right, so now we just showed how you can skip count by two different numbers. I could skip count by sixes or I could skip count by threes. The second part of the problem will ask you to do some work on the open number line, which is what we just practiced on Monday. This time it says the queen wants 24 ants for the parade. But remember, she only has 18. So here we are at 18, and she wants to have 24 ants line up for the whole parade. How many more ants would need to line up? Well, if two more ants came to the parade, that would get me to 20. And then I would need four more ants to go from 20 to 24. So I can see in my jumps on the open number line that she would need six more ants need to line up. This is the strategy of learning to skip count. All right, friends, I sure hope that that helped you how to skip count so you could solve your story problems today. Don't forget when you're making your math picture to organize your ants in an array. That will help you when you've got your rows and your columns to be able to skip count accurately and keep track of what you've counted. So organize those pictures really nice and tidy and then don't forget to use the open number line to see how many more ants would need to join the parade. You are going to be practicing lots of math skills and doing this hard work understanding story problems, using the strategy of skip counting, drawing an array and a picture that represents your hard work to show your thinking. So if any of it at any point feels hard, don't you panic. Just remember, 
that you can do it. Embrace the power of yet. Believe in yourself. And I know that you will have success with math today. Don't forget, this is an activity that your teachers want you to upload a picture into Class Dojo so that they can give you some feedback. Off you go to stretch those math muscles and do your best work. Don't forget, your effort is most important every single 